Hi, my name is Mike Senna. This is how I spend my weeknights after I come home from work. We were going to screw around with the piano here and um, we discovered some of the keys were sticking. So voila, we removed uh, the keyboard and here we have it right here, our piano. We have three screws in the back and uh, here's the inside of it. This is a Williams Symphony uh, electric piano. So basically I unscrewed these screws right there. You can see the holes to remove the keyboard. But there was a whole lot of screws everywhere else that you just kind of have to figure out uh, before you get this keyboard out. But uh, the real thing is, is in the kitchen. Let me show you that. So here is the keyboard, a piece of the keyboard. This is what everything was attached to, right? The keys and everything. So this is just a monumental task. I didn't even know like what this would take to, to take this apart. And it was just crazy. So what we could see from that keyboard frame is, is first of all, the, the screws. There's a ton of screws here. There's a ton of screws here. There's a ton of screws here. So all these uh, things need to be removed, including these long circuit boards that were also attached to that frame. Each key kind of slid out and pulled up, and we needed to keep the keys in order. We needed to keep these hammers in order, which they had their little parts and all the parts that had to come out. So what I found was there's a little shaft that hold the key, holds these keyed weights in there. And what was happening was the for some reason, these were binding. So these are the ones that we've completed so far. And you can see they're all falling freely. Here's the ones we still have to do. And you see how these keys are just, you know, randomly they're just gonna stick. So what happens is the key just gets held down. So I'm gonna show you what we did to uh, alleviate this situation. So the first process is we need to drive that pin out. And before I start this process, you're gonna notice I'm gonna use a hammer and this, this uh, piece of metal. And after the process, when I, after I sand down and make this, this piece uh, rod nice and smooth, it's just gonna go in when I, with a press on my thumb. So we're gonna get rid of all this friction in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is drive this thing out of here. You see the resistance, it's just, it's just resisting me to push this down. So here you can see the shaft, see how it's been worn? That's crazy, keys uh, shouldn't be worn like that, the shaft on, on such a piano. So I'll show you how I get rid of uh, some of this diameter. We really need to just remove a slight piece. And then also these keys. So if we see these keys right now, some of them are, are actually really too tight in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove that key and we can see the this this may cause a little friction if if this uh, plastic somehow is warping over age. So the first thing we're going to do with this thing is we're going to remove uh, just slightly take some sandpaper and go over this until you know we remove a little bit of material. It's very nice. Basically, we're just going to try and uh, clean the insides here, and then we're going to go try to fit it back on. It's a very simple process, uh, but what you'll see here is the key will fit nice and smooth, and it's not binding at all. See that? Second process is I'm going to take this into the shed and show you what I'm going to do. I don't even know why I'm doing this, it's so late at night, but you know, I, I like things at work. So, you know, sticky keys like that, uh, I don't even know how that happened. I mean, it's not even that old. So I'm gonna clean the grease or whatever that's on the shelf in the first place. And I'm just gonna stick it in my, uh, my drill press here. I'm just gonna hand tighten it, cause that's aluminum, the rod's aluminum. And I'm gonna take this, uh, 600 grit sandpaper and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take off some of the material that's on here and uh, 
you'll see after I'm done um, how nice the uh, how nice and smooth it looks. Okay, so that's what it looks like when uh, with a 600 grit paper. So the next thing I'm going to do is polish that a little bit. I don't want those lines in there. So I have a thousand grit paper and I'm basically going to do the same thing. And then we're going to flip the rod over on the other side and do this little part that, that's not being done right now. So it's the same kind of method. Okay, so now you can see how nice and shiny that became. So I'm going to this out and you see this uh, side that has not been done it's pretty apparent the difference between the two so now I'm just going to again put this in loosely and go ahead and finish off that bottom part okay see so uh, it's nice and polished and taken down just a little bit and those keys should slide nicely. I'm gonna test fit this key in here and look at that, it fits nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna rub this with a little bit of grease over here. Uh, this is just normal brake grease. I'm just gonna put just a little bit on here. And I'll just wipe it down a little bit and there's, there's what you got. And uh, now I'll go over there and uh, try it out in the, with the keys. Okay, here we are back at the keys, and I am going to uh, be lining this first one up. There we go. And you notice now. With very little effort, I am pushing this through the assembly. Just trying to match up those holes is a little bit difficult. So now we see these are moving forward, and uh, that's the, that's what you need to do to get them moving freely. But uh, I'll show you in reverse when we put the whole thing back together how many screws and, and the pain it was to get to this actual assembly. Okay, these are all cleaned up and done and look very nice. So I have my frame. Sorry about putting this together backwards. I mean, doing a how-to video backwards, but I didn't even know if I could take this apart and put it back together. I didn't even know if I could find the problem. Anyways, these hammers, you'll see, they go through here and they get attached on the top like that. So from this side, you'll see I have these long screws and short screws. The long screws go in here. And I'm just gonna secure these a little bit with this uh, screwdriver. And these short ones in here so they didn't even have the decency to make all these screws the same size so that you don't have to do this uh, painful thing so that's your your first step of uh, getting your keyboard to work properly so there it is in there so now just going to attach all the rest of these guys in here and I'll see you in a little while. Okay magically these are all in and they are moving fine.
beautifully. Notice all these screws, just screw, 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 just a ton of them. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting in the the keys. So I'll test fit a few of them and uh, then show you how they go. Okay, so how these lock in, and we need to do a group of them. Basically, I'll show you one. But one goes in, put it around the lip here, and it goes, the back part goes into this, uh, this groove back here. We push it down and then push it forward, and then that locks it in. We can't do one at a time though, because these black keys are like locked in. You know, you try to push them and they're, they, they get all weird. So we put three keys in, or as many keys in uh, at a time that you can put in and then uh, push them all down into the groove and push them forward and that locks the keys in. Let's see that? We're gonna put the keys in and then we'll show you how all these uh, all the keys get locked in with all these rails and more screws tons and tons of screws. So uh, we're gonna put the rest of these keys in and I'll be right back. Okay, got these sets of keys in. So they have these uh, little plastic pieces, right? They just, uh, after you slide the keys into the hole, then you slide this, so now the key can't slide back out. And then you have this that uh, goes over that. And you got some more screws. So we'll put the screws in there. And you will have finished uh, with your one set of keys here. So next uh, we will just be putting the rest of the keys in and the rest of these brackets to hold the keys. There we go. Okay, so we got a myriad of screws. So the assembly is all back here are done. I already tested out the keys and a lot of them stick. Oh, I'm moving very, very nicely. So I'm gonna have to flip this bad boy over. And we are going to have to figure out how to put this circuit board back in there. Here goes, the keys are usually up and then when they're pressed, they go down like that. See that little thing is going to press on these little switches. That's how it works. So we got a million screws to put in here, all these bad boys into the circuit boards. So we're gonna get started and then we'll show you when we finish this feeds through here. Voila. Oh sweet, you got this board in. Now oh, look at that. So these work fine. Next comes more screws and these braces. Now, you can tell where these go because of those little uh, holes. They kind of go in there and they get attached to there. So each brace comes here. We got all these braces that go all along here and we've got all their screws here. So start on that and uh, we will be back when we finish this because you don't want to see us continually putting all of these in here because it's going to be super boring oh super boring okay so we got all the braces in and we got the circuit board in so take a look at this assembly i mean to get down to these things you have to take out the circuit board the braces um all the screws that that hold these 
brackets on. So that's why I didn't start filming at any point in time when I was taking apart this piano, electric piano, is because, I mean, look at this thing. How, how, do you, how do you even imagine that you're gonna get deep down into the bowels that deep and be, be able to actually repair something? So uh, we're gonna take this over to the case now and we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna reassemble yeah. Okay, so we're just gonna do the reverse of what we did. That you weren't here to see. We're just gonna put this back in the spot where it used to go. There we go. So on this side of the board here, we can see that the screws go in here on this bracket. These ground wires go in some of these holes. So first thing we're going to do is screw those down. And we're also going to plug this into the board, which we removed it from this spot right here. So I'll make sure that's plugged in properly. And like I said, we're going to screw these in right there and then we'll be right back. Keyboard's in, it's all secured, and the next piece is going to be this, uh, I don't know what you call it, the controller thing. It's got all the little buttons on it. So uh, it goes right like that. See how nice that looks right there with the keyboard on there. Uh, they also have these little braces that go down and you just screw them onto the wood here. So, you know, get the wires out of underneath the braces. And then uh, I'm gonna put these two screws in and I'm gonna screw all these down here. Go. and they're all screwed in so can't forget to plug, uh, plug this guy in here I hope this is the right way can't remember oh yeah this is the right way There we go. Look at that. Then we're going to put this control panel, other control panel, uh, back on here. Just uh, secure it. And finally, let's get this roof on. Uh, the roof just slides on. Well, screws fit in the groove. Here. And they slide. 
and back. And we got three gigantic screws. And there we go. Now just to put our beautiful piano back up onto the stand. Okay, so now we're going to put in this cover. It just rolls and it covers the, the uh, keys, right? So the first thing we're going to do is put the front part of it in the front track. And you see these little notches here. This goes into the notch and then this gear will ride along the track. So we line both this up and put them in the hole. And now I see the operation. Slides up, slides down. Cover the keys. Then what we'll do is I have these little nice little caps that uh, we put in here to prevent this track from ever jumping out and uh, disconnecting. I put a screw right there. Okay, so we've got this nice cover on there. It's working beautifully. Before I put on the very top, though, I want to put on. I want to secure the keyboard down. Ugh. So here are the screws, holes that we originally took from the keyboard. We're unable us to take the keyboard out. It's this, it's this second row of holes here. Um, and there was a tricky one. It was underneath this control panel. That was a little frustrating to find. I don't know if these screws into here too. Oh yeah, here it is right there. That's the guy. This is the guy that uh, caused me some grief. I couldn't find it. So let's screw this row in. So it's two in the morning and we're done with our piano fix. So here you can see the keys all work, but they do not stick. And now we're ready to rock out. <laughs>